Hi, in 2008 I came up with and wrote into my blog a short categorization of religious believers. It does apply, I think, to other superstitious believers as well, but especially religious believers. And of course, I wrote it from my own perspective, from my own uh, experience in Finland. I figured there are basically four categories of people. First of all, there are the indifferent people who are indifferent to religion, and then there are the dogmatic people, uh, the rational people, and then finally the rational but reluctant people. So I'll go over these four groups very quickly. The first group, the indifferent uh, believers, are the typical believers, at least in Finland and most of the Western world, I think. In Finland, two-thirds of the population are nominally Christian, at least. Some of them are actually more religious, but most people are just members of the Finnish Evangelical Lutheran Church. They don't actually much care or think about religion or religious matters. They go to church for weddings and funerals, and that's pretty much it. Otherwise, they really don't just have any need for religion and uh, well they have a bible at home most likely because they got one from somewhere perhaps when they got married or something but they never read it and they just don't really care they are indifferent then there are the dogmatic uh, christians or other believers in Finland, these are typically Christians who may still be part of uh, the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Finland, but also they might be members of more fringe churches. These are people who at least claim to be extremely religious. They make a lot of noise about their religion. I think that for the most part this actually is just to show that they belong to the flock, they are members of this particular group. I think most people would call them fundamentalists, and for a good reason. Um, they, for example, they might uh, be creationists, they make all kinds of ridiculous claims, because that is how you show that you are one of this group. So, these people may sort of think about religious things, but they don't actually really try to figure out what the truth is. They don't really care. They are indifferent to the truth. And they are more interested in just uh, at least pretending to be religious. They are not intellectually honest, they are not truth seekers. Then there are the rational people. These are people who may be religious, actually, uh, at first, but at some point when they realize that there actually is no justification for religious belief, they uh, discard any such beliefs that they may have had, and uh, as a result they may become quite angry. They will call uh, religions bullshit, and they will accuse whoever taught them about religion of lying. Over time, they may change their tune, so to speak, and they may actually start to understand something about how and why people are kind of religious, that people have, for example, emotional reasons to hold on to some kind of religious belief. But it might take some time. Then finally, there is the group of 
uh, rational but reluctant people, by which I mean people who are kind of still rational, but they are reluctant to let go of their religious beliefs. These people might actually even spend decades even connected to religious uh, organizations and even uh, studying things like exegetics and working on it. They might even become priests or something. But eventually at some point their intellectual honesty just makes it impossible for them to continue this living in a lie, basically, when they have to admit that uh, there is no justification for what they are claiming to believe and might even be teaching other people. And this might, of course, mean that breaking up with religion might be a really painful, traumatic experience for them, Especially if over time they have uh, devoted much of their life to the religion, they may have uh, formed a career uh, based on that religion within a religious organization, such as the church, and they might be uh, married to a religious person, or things like that. So, in a sense, these are the kinds of people who most need help and support when they are starting to realize that perhaps there is something wrong with what they are believing or claiming to believe. Over time, they will let go of their religion, but it might take time and it might be painful more painful than to the earlier category, the rational, because uh, the rational in my categorization is a person who probably rather quickly at a young age uh, learns to think critically about religion and realizes that it's all unjustified and will let go of any such beliefs. But the, um, the reluctant may be a person who is for some reason attached to the religion and perhaps the people uh, related to that religion, the group that they uh, live in. And for that reason, it may be really difficult for them to let go because they might then be ostracized from the community, their friends and even family. So that's why they are the ones who mostly need support and help when they ask for it or look for it. That's it this time. Bye.